scientists are sounding the alarm over new subterranean signals that indicate an unstoppable force is brewing beneath Earth's surface. New data suggests that rare volcanic events may be occurring more rapidly than previously thought, with consequences that could impact the entire planet. In the heart of Yellowstone National Park, scientists have just drawn the clearest subterranean map to date of one of Earth's most closely observed supervolcanoes, and it reveals some surprises. A recent nature study, led by USGS researchers in collaboration with Oregon State University and the University of Wisconsin-Madison, used electromagnetic imaging to scan Yellowstone's subsurface like never before. This technique, called magnetotellurics, captures shifts in Earth's natural electromagnetic field, usually triggered by lightning or solar storms, to detect how well rocks conduct electricity. Because molten rock is more conductive than solid rock, the resulting images reveal where magma might be hiding. They discovered four distinct magma reservoirs, located between 4 and 11 kilometers beneath the caldera. These magma chambers, made of rhyolite magma rich in silica and prone to explosive eruptions, vary in size and shape, but one in particular matches the volume released during the Mesa Falls eruption in Yellowstone, which occurred 1.3 million years ago. These reservoirs are not fully molten, more like a thick slurry of crystals and melt, but their presence is reshaping how geologists assess eruption risk in the region. Until now, most scientific focus has been on the central and western parts of the caldera. However, new data is now shifting attention to the northeast, where a direct connection has been discovered between shallow rhyolite magma and deeper basaltic heat. This basaltic magma acts as an engine supplying heat that can eventually melt more rock and connect the magma chambers. According to the U.S. Geological Survey, this connected system could sustain and possibly even increase the volume of magma in this region for hundreds of thousands of years. In contrast, the western side of the caldera appears to be cooling, with magma slowly solidifying and the likelihood of an eruption diminishing in the near future. Larry Mastin, a volcanologist at the USGS, noted in a related study that the current melt fraction is too low to indicate an imminent eruption, but cautioned that connectivity and thermal evolution remain key variables. Conditions can change over decades, not just millennia, he told colleagues. There are no signs that a catastrophic eruption is imminent. However, understanding how such an eruption might occur helps governments prepare for even the worst case scenario. Yellowstone has erupted three times in the past 2.1 million years. Each event has transformed the landscape and potentially altered the global climate. In the worst case scenario, geophysical models suggest that an eruption would begin with a smaller explosion, followed by a sudden release of pressure as the magma chamber connects. A full-scale VEI-8 super eruption could eject a plume of ash into the stratosphere within minutes, triggering pyroclastic flows capable of devastating an area within a 100-kilometer radius. Ashfall would spread across much of North America. According to Mastin simulations, Chicago, San Francisco, and even parts of eastern Canada could experience significant ash deposition enough to disrupt power grids, agriculture, and air transportation. However, the real impact would be felt above our heads.